So last week, uh, my friend Matthew over at Workshop Heaven sent me a, a, well, a Christmas present because he knew I was doing all of this stuff. Look at my tool rack. That looks plainy to me. Oh, yeah, Quang Shang. All right, so Quang Shang make some gorgeous, gorgeous tools. In fact, I've got the Quang Shang number one, which I've had for years and I love and adore. So, oh. I mean, I see cherry. Adjustable mouth. <laughs> How's that for a tight mouth, yeah? I just said tight mouth, yeah. The thing is, these are really good quality. This is a little Japanese saw. It's, it's got two different, uh, uh, it's got a, a cross cut and a rip. I love playing the guessing game. Do you love the guessing game? Oh, check this out. That has the feel of utter quality there. Um, it's tiny. That's probably actually smaller than the, the, the fret slot we saw. Ooh. Is that half mil increments? 12 mil, 11 and a half mil. The amount of time I need an 11 and a half mil drill bit. Those look nice. Is that blades? Oh. 30 degree angle, 50 degree. Um, for the uh, for the low angle plane, an 18th century European tradition, easy to use, non toxic, organic, old brown glue, like like height glue but pre mixed. I know what these are. These are narrow racks. Now, 100 years of quality, newest line of Richter bench chisels, released on the 100th anniversary of our factory, founded in 1919, and after the founder, superior heat treatment, highest quality in manufacturing processes, finest chisels available for workers. That's a, a really, really fine bevel edge on there. Okay. Well, I mean, there's nothing for it. I'm gonna to have to put those in my, uh, in my tool rack and uh, give it a whirl. Yeah, I'm somewhat overwhelmed here. Yeah? Um, Matthew, you're a, a gentleman. And this is another plane. Oh, oh now this is gonna be fun. This is a Lee Nielsen. This is Kong Sheng's answer to the Lee Nielsen. Quite interesting. Got a little bit more access to the um, lockdown nut on the Lee Nielsen. It's got a little bit of a swoop there. Not that I don't have access, it's just not quite. I've always wondered about taking one of these and slightly customizing it. Old Norris's have something called machine turning or watchmakers call it purlage and I'm going to do that to this. Last week I mentioned that uh, I was a little bit disappointed with the access under here for the wheel that lifts it all up and uh, I was a bit stupid. All you need to do is loosen that screw and then do that and suddenly you have all the access you could ever want. Yeah, this is the Kongsheng version of this beautiful low angle plane. It's just superb. I've been using Kongsheng planes now for, well, it's gotta be at least seven or eight years. The thing is, it's just manufactured absolutely perfectly. That is as flat as you could possibly want it to be. And uh, I don't need to adjust anything. And we are gonna use some of these in the drill press. I wonder how that'll work. Uh, test, test, testing. How about, yes, half of my tools are down here. I just need a piece of wood. You'd think I'd have lots of those. So essentially this is just rubber with uh, silicon carbide abrasive in it. Ah, I love it. I might end up doing this on all my planes. Totally, utterly, 
100% pointless, except for the fact that it's beautiful. It needs more. Should I do the back of the blade? Ooh. Should I or should I not? No. Now this already comes highly polished and I, I suspect that that's actually lacquered. Uh, I've taken a high-end plane and I've made it just a little bit more luxury. Um, just for fun. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, check out uh, Kuangsheng Planes at workshopheaven.co.uk. I could use it straight out of the box, actually. <laughs>